Hey everyone, welcome back to Winterfell Camp with me, Lad for Lloyds. This is a copy with the Lad Vlog. Uh, this is going to be a real fast update. I'm going to put it up right away because I had an incident here at camp. Um, so I'll just start quickly. Here's our copy. And uh, this is called Donkey Butter, if you know what I mean. Have you ever heard the names of something like that? Anyways, it's worthy of its name. It's quite, uh, anyways. Uh, so... I uh, hired a new fella here yesterday, Andre. He's turning out to be a really wicked worker, really good guy, and a new fishing buddy. I'm actually going to have somebody that's going to go want, want to go fishing more than me. Uh, he's never been trout fishing. He's an excellent shore fisherman. Uh, I, he may be the best shore fisherman I've ever seen, honestly. Anyways, um, so we get along great and everything. So last night I drove him home. Uh, he's living in Smith's Falls uh, with his wife and kids and all that. So um, I uh, then headed back here after I dropped him off. After I cheated and went to Burger King, I didn't know there was a Burger King left open in Smith's Falls. And it was like, oh, wow, I haven't. Well, then uh, Andre says, I don't know. He says, you got to try this something called the Roadhouse Burger or something. So I went there. I ordered a Roadhouse Burger and a Whopper. I thought I'd put a Whopper, uh, you know, double Whopper and all that bacon and all that stuff. Anyways, um, and then these fries, but they're made out of chicken. Anyways, uh $31 just for two burgers and uh, those those uh, fake, uh, well, ch not fake, but chicken fries. Anyways, um, it's just the way things are, I guess, these days. Um, but yeah, because like Burger King was always my favorite um, for many, many years. And we don't have one out here. We used to have, we used to have a... Uh, uh, Burger King in Perth, but it closed. I don't know. I, it's been it's been like a million years. Anyways, that's not important um, for the reason I'm on here. So, um, but it was because I stopped at Burger King, grabbed this uh, food. I headed back here, and it was around eight o'clock. It was dark, and as I'm pulling up to my laneway here, at camp, not fifty yards away, there's a red pickup truck on my side of the road on my property and uh so it's like it's a hunter it was a red dodge four door and i, I took a picture of the plate i went to the side of his like you know the, the driver's side of his pickup truck opened it up it was left unlocked there's a rifle sitting in the passenger well rifle there's not supposed to be any rifle going on around here it's bow hunting for for deer and stuff right so um and he had to be here for deer what else i mean you're not coming here to 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 you know and then night hunting to boot so I Anyways, he gives hunters a bad name. And you guys know I'm not anti-hunter. Like, duh. Anyways, uh, <laughs> um, my buddies hunt here. I mean, it's the whole point of the place, hunting, fishing. Anyway, so the pickup truck's there. I uh, I, clo I slammed his door because I wanted to make sure. I called out because he had to be close. Uh, no response at all. So he's now, I know for sure, he's hiding. And it's close. I mean, it's just back here behind the, the fire pit and, and the tent over this way i mean he was close so anyways um so I, I i had pulled up behind him with my pickup truck so i got the headlights on the back of his truck i took a picture of his plate he has a very unique trailer hitch on it and uh um uh uh, so it's something I could easily recognize. Well, to boot is I think I know the truck. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I got two places I'm going to check today if uh, if Andre doesn't get a hold of me for fishing because I want to take him out to Silver Lake trout fishing. Um, I may still end up going if I don't hear from him, but I got to, like they say, I got these two little things I want to do. Um, I'm not a person that calls the uh, Ontario Provincial Police or, you know, whatever. I, I don't like rats. I'm an ex-biker. Uh, that's just not part of my makeup. Um, but anyways, I got put into a position now uh, because I had put the word out on the on the Facebook groups. There's one called Lanark Community. There's a whole bunch of them. So anyways, uh, and I'm known on there and I have lots of people I know on there as well. I mean, it's our, our neighborhood, right? So I thought I'd just put a warning up there to let people know in the neighborhood. Like, you know, because we got kids running around here. I got an 83-year-old mother there that's by herself who scares very easily and uh, don't need it. 
Okay. And I just went through this thing with my heart Tuesday where I, you know, I had to call 911, you know, there are ambulances. My mother thankfully didn't see, see the ambulance or uh, hear them when they came here because it would just freak her out. But uh, anyways, um, there's another video come on on that. Uh, I'm okay. It's 99% okay. I'll explain later. So anyways, um, so I slam the door. Uh, I, I, I drive my truck back here to the laneway and uh, I park it and I give it a really good slam because I know if he's hunting, slamming doors, deer are gone, right? So I'm fucking him up, right? Well, that's exactly what happened. All of a sudden, the bush behind here starts rustling. Boom, I hear the truck door open, C truck gets started, he takes off. I jump in my truck, I take off after him, but I let him get good and far ahead of me because I didn't want him to know I'm, fo I'm following him because he'll really take off. It's dark, it's deer time. You know, there's a thousand reasons not to be doing chasing. So anyways, I let him go to good, get good piece ahead of me. He ended up turning right on Highway 511. He headed back towards Hopetown and I let him go for there because he, uh, he passed Hopetown. So I'm pretty sure he was headed to Lanark and the truck that I I saw Fitz's description, I think, of a truck I know in Lanark, so I'm probably going to go pay a visit over there. Anyways, uh, it might be someone else, too, and that's going to be a bad situation because uh, it's somebody that's likely going to lose their job because it's something to do with, uh, it might be a guy that's working for the township transfer station. I'm hoping it's not him, but he has a truck that fits the description. So, but I'm hoping it's not him because I thought we were on pretty good and friendly terms. So, and he would know better than to be hunting at night and on private property. And he knows who my mother is and so on. So, um, but anyways, uh, now I wasn't going to call the OPP. I was going to give him like till Monday, you know, you reach out to me. We're going to have a conversation and fix this up like two private back country boys will take care of it. And, uh, well, I come to find out from my neighbors that there was a very serious accident here up in Fallbrook. A young family was uh, run off the road. I guess there was some serious injuries and the same truck fits the description. Now, people said, well, there are dents in the red dots. Well, I didn't look for dents in the front or anything like that. I just did quick, a quick inspection inside. I should have grabbed the rifle. I'm fucking kicking myself uh, that I didn't grab the rifle. But anyway, say la vie, it, what's done is done. So, uh, anyhow, um, so it turns out that the truck that ran off the, 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 the family in Fallbrook, um, uh, uh, fits, like I said, fits the description. So I don't know a hundred percent, obviously I didn't check for damage. Um, it necessarily wouldn't even have damage if you just ran them off the road and never hit them. Right. So anyways, but I come to find out the OPP is looking for this truck. And uh, so it's like, now you're forcing my hand, like, God damn it. So, I mean, this went on from eight o'clock, like to say at eight o'clock, I didn't, you know, start thinking about all this this morning and then do this stuff on the Facebook groups. So anyways, um, uh, uh, I put it out there. People let me know this was going on. So now he forced my hand. I have to call the OPP. So I ended up calling them, gave them all the information, sent them a picture of the, uh, the license plate. It's got a unique trailer hitch on it as well. And uh, I, I was very unhappy to have to do that. But you put me in a situation. So, buddy, if you ever see this, okay, first of all, you were on the wrong property. You have no idea how wrong of this property for you to have been on and who you are dealing with here, okay? So I'll look at you right in the, uh, right in the camera, okay? So if you ever talk to me, you might want to come talk to me like a man because if I run across you, it ain't going to be nice. Okay, so anyways, now let's leave that bullshit out of the way. But you forced my hand. Okay, you must know about this this accident. Okay, maybe not. I didn't know about it till I went on the Facebook groups today after I posted this little thing about this truck. So, anyways, uh, if it was you, they're looking for you. And that sucks because if it's not you, you're going to get harassed because you have the same uh, pickup truck uh, that was in that description. So, you know, and you have to know. OK, is that everybody's carrying dialer rats. OK, Th those are those phones you you have in your hands. OK, dialer rats, because in my day you could get away with all kinds of stuff and nobody's taking pictures. Now you can't take a shit at the side of the road because and someone's taking pictures. So I call them dialer rat. 
Okay. And uh, yeah, there's an old side of me kind of popping out over this because I'm not happy. It's uh, it's not even so much that he was hunting here. I mean, who cares in one way? If you had me ask me permission and you were somebody you, I knew or you were with a family that I knew, okay, maybe we would talk. I let people come here. But the way this went down and then, uh, and then on top of it, I mean, he had to know I took a picture because I stood behind it and made it obvious I was taking a picture and made a lot of noise. So he has to know that. But this thing with the uh, with the accident you put me in a position I, I uh, you know i didn't even want to call the ministry the hunting uh, the hunting ministry i don't know this guy might be some poor guy that needs to put uh, food in his freezer you know i'm from out here so and i'm not one of these uh, you know on my fucking milk crate anti hunter you people can go fuck yourselves okay i'm from here i know how to deal with people from here but this put me in a position uh, you know, and uh, I'm really, that's what I'm unhappy about is being put in the position that I have to dial the numbers for the Ontario Provincial Police to report you, okay? And then you, you're a dummy, you know, uh, I don't know if you know my family or not. Uh, you may know my reputation. It's not like it's a secret in these parts. People yak about it all the time, apparently, but I don't care. But there's an 83-year-old woman that's been living there since the beginning of time who's lost her husband, lost one of her sons, uh, not dead, but, you know, permanently never see him again. And this son that, uh, you know, is a heart attack waiting to happen. Don't over-examine that. I, I, my, my test came back clean, but I still got to go for a stress test. But it was a wake-up call. I did something stupid. And you guys will see that in another one. I'm going to be putting this up really fast, like I said. And uh, But I'm all right. But at the same time, you know, things can still happen. So it's beautiful weather out. We've got these next four or five days. It's like 20 Celsius. So, I mean, you couldn't find better weather for fishing, hunting, and everything else. So I'm waiting to hear from Andre to see if he wants to go do some trout fishing at Silver Lake. Uh, he's an afternoon fisherman like me, which is even better. Um, depending on what time he gets back to me, we're going to go or we're not going to go. Um, if he doesn't want to go, I'm not sure where I'm going to go fishing. I don't think I want to go all the way up to Silver Lake myself. I'm not sure I want to do Robertson Lake again, so I'm trying to decide where I might go. I think we should at least get out fishing, right? I mean, uh, uh, worst case scenario because of what went down today. I mean, I might miss the day, but I'm trying not to. So anyways, I'll put a picture of his plate uh, in here. Like, I'll just insert it. Um, and, uh, cause I don't care who sees it. He was on my land. He was breaking my law here. He was breaking the regular law. He was breaking hunting ethical, you know, making us all the rest of us hunters look bad. Well, I'm not a hunter, but all my friends, uh, I'm a fisherman. And, uh, um, uh, and now because of this stupid thing with, you know, uh, that, uh, you know, he may have, uh, if it's just the same people, if it's the same truck, you know, he may have hurt some people really, really bad. And I understand it's a family with kids. So that's definitely not cool. So, and that's the kind of thing that gets me to drive up to your front door and we're going to deal with each other. But uh, anyways, I'll let the OPP uh, do their little thing. Uh, they have been looking for this truck. So I'm hoping it's not the same person just because, you know, he's hunting. So, you know, and I don't think he's a newcomer. Uh, well, maybe he's a newcomer, but uh, I don't think so. And I don't think it was somebody from the city coming out to hunt either. Uh, it's somebody local. And I would have rather dealt with it quietly on our own kind of thing. But anyways, it is what it is. So say the be. So there you go. And if you see this, Mr. Third Concession, Watson's Corners, you know where I am. All right. You know where my family's land is. You were on it. So, and I'm sorry I had to pick up the cops, the dial a rat, but you put me in the position. I didn't know about this family. And uh, that just doesn't go down, man. Doesn't. It don't go down. I don't care who the family was, whether they're, I know them or not. That don't go down. It's kids. Okay. It's kids. So, and a very scared, lonely old lady, 83 year old lady losing her mind, my mother. And she needs this at 83. You know, you're lucky my dad wasn't alive. That would have gone really bad for you. And at that time, I was way far away from here, you know. And, uh, but, uh, but trust you me, my dad would have been far worse to deal with than me. So anyways, uh, lucky for you. So uh, not to mention, if all my dad and his brothers were still around, your family would have been moving to fucking Barris, Columbia just to be away from them. So, all right. So let's let that go. 
with all the stupid shit talk. Uh, so I'm sorry you guys had to see this, but hey, you guys want vlogs? You want it to be real? I, I do it real like Trailer Park. Well, Trailer Park Boys isn't real, but you know. Anyways, uh, yeah, so here it is. I'll uh, go back in. Uh, I'm going to finish up my coffee. I didn't drink much coffee. I don't have a coffee in a vlog, did I? 14 minutes. Okay. So I'm going to go back and have another pop of donkey butter. <laughs> I can't even say the name of the stuff. It's really good. Anyways, I think it's First Nation stuff too because the package it was in. There's a whole story behind it. It was found and given to me by some people that do not have anything to do with that or anything. Don't smoke. Don't do any of that. But they know I did. And they're like, hey, you might want to enjoy this. When I saw the packaging and everything, I'm going, well, that's not OCS. It's definitely... You know, it's off the reserve somewhere. And it's not unusual in these parts. So anyways, please like, share, and subscribe. Okay. Uh, and especially comment. I love the comments. Uh, sometimes I can't answer them all or whatever. I got a thousand things going on here all the time, as you can see. And it's fall time now. So that's why I had Andre rushing here to do the work and stuff. Anyway, we'll, we'll do a separate one for that, that regular report. Okay. Uh, so please like, share, subscribe. Please comment. If you want to uh, support my work or anything like that, it's paypal.com slash lad from the woods or buy me a copy dot com slash lad from the woods those links are all down in the description anyway okay so uh you guys all be good you be safe out there be good to your fellow human when you can and peace long life and live long and prosper to you all bye-bye